pink throughout the park for the annual Paint It Pink game inside Joanne Graff Field at the Seminole Softball Complex. Welcome into Tallahassee, Florida for game two of a three game set between the NC State Wolfpack and the 18th ranked Florida State Seminoles looking at Quickly on the ground, Issa Torres just talked about her over to first and one down for the Knowles. Right up the hole from Inslee and the first hit of the game belongs to NC State. Hassler too had a couple good swings. Hassler won't swing, first pitch hits her. She'll head down the first, two on for NC State and also the starting pitcher tonight. Up in the air, Amaya Ross underneath, and two outs. All night long, came back late in the ball game, tied it at six. And underneath that one, Goodwin gets into the glove of Torres, so two stranded for the Wolfpack as we... She's found herself fully healthy. Mudge into right field. Hensley coming in to make the play one out. There, I think all of her stats right now are super impressive. The reason why Beecham walked three times alone last night. Into the glove, diving for the play. It's Goodwin, throw across, not in time. Be Now Kaylee Harding wastes no time. Left field, see ya. Two run shot, first pitch swinging. Kaylee Harding gives the Knowles a two nothing lead. Kaylee Harding absolutely crushes the first pitch. She sees that one right down the middle, up in the zone. That's a pitch as a hitter that you never want to miss and Harding takes full advantage. But that right there is exactly what Lonnie Alameda and staff have been talking about. Florida State hitter. State. Skies this one. Goodwin makes the grab. Two down. As of late, really a breakout season for the junior. Underneath, coming over is Lambrick. Makes the play for out number three, but not before Kaylee Harding delivering a two-run shot for the Knowles. Kaylee Harding went. Talked yeah. to her earlier this week. <laughs> Oozing passion on the ground to second. Flaherty makes the first out of the inning. And it's been a little bit rough as of late, a five-game skid for the pack. First pitch, Torres, two down. Cool part of it, and you saw it on that graphic. Already two ranked wins this season. Chopped on the ground to third. Peachum, third out of the inning. Good and able to make quick work. We'll head to the bottom of the second for 17 extra base hits. And that's on pace to break those benchmarks. First pitch swinging, Kurt. One out already for NC State, but Florida State sticking with that aggressive approach right now, Alex. Even though they're young in their careers, they're getting information every game. So for the freshmen to be able to go out there and adapt and adjust throughout the season is saying a lot too about their softball IQ. She's got three games this season with at least eight strikeouts. Goes back to the flashes that we've seen. Speaking about flashes, Goodwin able to get down, flash the leather to stop that ball. But Hart able to reach for safely. Now two on for Florida State and Devin Flaherty. On Flaherty. Goes back outside and punches out Devin Flaherty. First of the night for Insco. It's payoff to Mudge. Insco, oh, she thought she had the corner. Instead, will load the bases for Florida State and Jason E. Beecham. And not only that, but complimented by her low strikeout numbers, too. She sees the ball so well. Hand-eye coordination is elite. Five strikeouts and 94 ABs. Drops into right field. Torres scores. Hart scores. Mudge to third. And Beecham. Two RBI single. Knowles now on top, four to nothing. 
And Jason E. Beecham stays clutch right there, just poking that one down in the count, but does a great job just getting something somewhat close to the zone, taking advantage, driving it opposite field. You love that, but also the beauty of two out approaches on the base path. One pitch at a time mentality. That's of the utmost importance when facing an offense like Florida State. Pitch gets away out of the glove of Hassler. Will advance Beecham to second. Two in scoring position for Harding. 3-2 straight into the glove of Smith at short. Knowles able to tack on two in the bottom of the second. Yes, she's young, but also you guys are in this fight together and you gotta eye each other up. Smith. Hits the piece to right field. Harding makes the play. First out of the inning. One for this program. Reason why she was a Hall of Famer. Beecham. Throw over to first. Will be waved out. Popped out of the glove of Amaya Ross, but team. But such an energy they are. Lindsay Leftwich has told us into foul territory. Harding. Running all the way over to make the grab. Mimi Gooden still cooking. Knowles up 4 nothing as we head to the bottom of the. Slowly building her culture in Raleigh. 2-2 Two -two to Edenfield. Gets down and into left field. A single for 51. Journey. You know, they always say it's not about the destination. It's about the journey, and it's mm -hmm. so true. Down low to Ross. That will advance Fry. Now in scoring position. That was the biggest thing, too. But Evolution of the athleticism of these kids, right? Well, we talk about that all the time, but it used to be your shortstops, your center fielders were your greatest athletes. Ross looking for the gap. Charging in is Goins, and she's able to make the play. Holds Fry at second. So sticking with the theme of getting ahead of seminal hitters. Kerr lays down the bunt. Shows off the wheels in time safely and runners at the corners. And one down for Florida State. Run in is Kerr. A little bit of confusion. That pitch called a strike. Wyman successful here. Sliced into left field. Hensley makes the play, tagging up his fry. And in the score, she does. Sack fly for Issa Torres, adding to her RBI total. An increase in that pitch from Wyman, now a full count. Hart on the ground is short. Smith makes the throw. How about the stretch? Tarpy able to make the play. See if there's some conversations if we're Ripped down the line and fair from Hassler. She'll hold up at first. And I'll be given an at-bat this season, one of the primary pinch runners for the pack. First pitch lofted. Kerr ranging over makes the catch. One out now. Free game <laughs> so he can match with the team every game. Love it. Underneath, Kerr's got to go back, looking up. Off the wall, Goodwin into second. What a way to pick up number 100. Two on for NC State, only one out. Goins, end of the bat, charging over as Torres beats him. She makes the play. Holds both runners. So a good spot for NC State and Michelle Tarpey. First pitch, right field, Harding into her mitt. NC State leads two stranded, Knowles lead 5-0. We head to the home half of the fourth. And we can take the broadcast out to the party deck <laughs> yeah. one day. I think it'd be a great time. I'm just saying. I, I would happily agree. Flaherty takes that off the arm. See, with a little bit of a grimace. In the leadoff spot, the last 14 games. Phenomenal last season. 
Lays down the punt, much. Wheels down the line, gets out of the glove of Tarpey. Flaherty all the way to third, runners on the corners for Florida State. So challenging her in the zone today has proved to be successful for Florida State. Runner goes, Mudge. Doesn't matter. Beecham draws a walk and loads the bases up. First pitch, Harding. Straight up in the air underneath Lambrick. Goes. Right now, you're just going to town. Got opportunity too, and I said it earlier, a lot you can do to be successful, and this is the best time to be able to be up to bat. First pitch again, steps on third, throw across. Wyman's fired up in the circle. That's how you get out of a jam. Knowles, leaf three on, but still in the lead. Five. Yeah, redshirt junior season, only pitch six and a third innings throughout the season. On the ground, a third. Old foul. Lambrick knew it, didn't Wilson. Straight up the middle over the glove of Issa Torres, and Lambrick records a hit, able to reach first. Give NC State the early lead. Right back to Wilson. Tossed over to Ross. So Lambrick back to first base in Marbury 2-2 count. And it's fair. Down the line. Marbury in the second. That will advance Lambrick to third. A lot of back and forth here in Tallahassee. Seminole fans can't believe it. But the Wolfpack. The game here, but look at this one. Marbury going to get called back for a different opportunity. Going to hit a ball down the line. They're going to call it fair. Florida State right now arguing whether or not that ball was fair or foul. And where it crossed third base, you see it took its first bounce in fair terror. Been keeled out there, but we can ride the highs and the lows oh, up absolutely. here in the booth. Marbury finally gets a piece left field. So after all of it, Marbury gets a single. And two on for the pack. Just somebody that can throw high velo, they're going to get hit often, so trying to work in some other pitches is, is crucial. Lofted into right field from Inslee. They will hold Lambrick at third. Chaos in the infield. Ross gets it back into the circle. Now bases loaded for NC State. What a spot. What a player. State is just. Really impressive with what they've been able to do offensively with a lot of changes. Reed gets the better of Inslee. Showing off the heat. Now Amanda Hassler. Skied up into the air. Torres makes the grab, holds the runners. The McKenna Reed. You in the zone and it never looks like it's going to cross the plate and it doesn't but you still know you've got to swing because it's close enough. 2-2. Two, two. Popped into shallow center field. Making the play is Kennedy Hart. McKenna Ree, the hero. Gets still within the NCAA tournament in March Madness. And a chance to advance and Amaya Ross, left field. Making the grab. How about that? Tori Inslee up to get it. Ball from Ross. A quick out for NC State. Janai Kirk slapped down the line in left field. Rounds first, she'll stay. And a base hit. Torres into right field. Belvi sprinting into third. How about that throw from right field? Hensley with a gun, not in time to get Belvi. Torres all the way to second, two in scoring position. Hart off the end of the bat. Did she get all of it? She did. Back to back nights, a freshman ends it for the Knowles. Florida State run rules. NC State here in the bottom of the fifth. 
Florida State. Three run blast, opposite field power. Look at that pitch off the plate. That is not a bad pitch from Wyman, but Harp is just such a good athlete, such a great hitter. She's gonna take that ball deep. That's a big one for Florida State. Responding to some adversity throughout the ball game. Her team is fired up. Kennedy Harp getting the job done when her number is called.